Okay, so just taking a look at this one. It's a multi-protein, right? We've got turkey, we've got salmon, we've got lamb. We've got sweet potato, chickpeas, and green lentils. I would feel much better about this food if it only had one of those three. And then that gives you an idea of everything else that we have in here. Um, another new ingredient that I'm seeing is this grass. I'm going to have to take a look at that and see what my thoughts are about that grass. Um, not familiar with that specific type of grass. So we'll take a look. And then let's see where our guaranteed analysis is. Oh, sorry. Where did it just go? There it is. So we can take a look at that. Okay, same brand. This is their grain-free adult. Now we've got peas, lentils, pea fiber. We've actually got pea fiber listed twice. I'm not sure if that's a typo or what. But it's very interesting. Here's their limited ingredient. Again, peas, chickpeas, lentils, pea fiber. When they say limited ingredient, they just mean single protein, which is what they have listed here. Okay, this is interesting. So it says 49% salmon and salmon meal in every eight ounce cup. But if we look at their guaranteed analysis, we've got 30% protein, 15% fat, 5% fiber. So how could it be almost 50% of salmon I'm not sure about that. I'll have to calculate that up. Okay, let's take a look at this one. What does this say on the front? Oh, cooked with love in a USA kitchen. <laughs> I'm not even going to comment on that. Alright, let's take a look at these ingredients. If I can get the bag to act right. What is that? Organic what? Organic peas. Ah, okay, so we've traded peas for organic peas, organic pea protein, tapioca, lamb meal. Interesting. And then let's get the analysis to play nice up here. So, this is also a pricey bag of sweet potatoes and peas. So we've got peas, oat groats, pearled barley, pea protein, so soy protein, pea fiber. See, it's it's just too much all in one bag. If this was just chicken, chicken liver, egg product, pearled barley, right? 
flaxseed and then some other things, that would be fine. But when you've got pea protein, soy protein, you definitely have to watch out for the soy because that can be inflammatory. A lot of dogs have an allergic reaction to soy, which is a shame. <laughs> the proof is in the poop. Wow. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. Turkey, dried egg product, chickpeas, lentils, peas, duck. And then we got that soy concentrate again. Sweet potatoes, natural flavor. Goose? Oh my gosh, this actually has goose in it. Interesting. I don't think I've seen one that's a US brand that's got goose listed. So let's take a look at the marketing on this bag. Because part of what you have to learn is you have to learn how to weed through what it is that they're marketing. So first off, it's called holistic. We could just stop right there. Um, there's nothing holistic about this food. There is no regulation on using words like holistic, right? Which makes people think that it's healthy. It's, you know. So we're talking about whole meats, right? They don't use meat meals, which is fine. And then they're talking about factory farming, growth hormones, antibiotics, artificial flavors, colors, preservatives. Okay, so as far as saying no to factory farming, I can almost guarantee you that wherever they got that goose from was not Billy Bob Joe Schmo's farm down the street, okay? Not sure how provable that is. But it's interesting. And yet, you have to take these things into account when you're reading the bag. Right? Saying no to factory farming doesn't mean that they don't include it in their food. Or it doesn't mean that their third party provider doesn't use it and they don't know. Okay, here's one salmon, whitefish. Here we go again lentils, chickpeas dried peas, soy protein. Again, if it was just one of those items, then it, it, it would be less problematic. It still wouldn't be ideal, but it would be less problematic. One of the reasons why I recommend this puppy food, right? This is their halo puppy food the canned, not the dried, is because it doesn't have carrageenan in it. And carrageenan has been linked to canine cancer. And it's very hard to find a canned puppy food or a canned food in general that doesn't have it in there. Um, carrageenan is a thickener. and They use agar agar, which is also plant-based. Um, but humans also eat agar agar. So, just keep that in mind if you have small puppies. Um, you always want to check the cans before you purchase, every time you purchase. Remember, pet food companies are not going to put out a memo. They're not going to call you or email you and say, hey, we changed our ingredients. Hey, we've decided to go with something cheaper. So, it's just something to keep in mind. Okay, next up, let's take a look at wellness. How about this high protein, 100% raw turkey? Oh boy, here we go. Oh, it's got freeze dried bits in it. Interesting. Okay, so let's take a look at their ingredients. So, right off the bat, it's turkey and chicken, right? Not just turkey. Good thing to keep in mind if your dog has a chicken allergy. Then we've got potatoes, peas, ground potatoes, pea fiber. 
I do like to see the turkey hearts and the chicken liver. There's that dreaded natural chicken flavor again, which I hate. All things considered, um, if, if they were to pick one or the other, either peas or potatoes, this one wouldn't be that bad. It's got a good amount of protein. Not very much fat though. Okay, this is confusing. So we've got crude fat listed twice. So it's not less than 10%, but not more than 13%. See, I don't think that they should be able to get away with that. I think that they should have to be able to say exactly how much is in it. And then another thing to keep in mind, especially if you're feeding a puppy, is this meets the nutrient guidelines for maintenance. So, so you see, this, this food would not be appropriate for, for puppies. Not that they're advertising it as such, but it's just something to keep in mind. Don't get caught up in this, oh, it's got freeze-dried bites. Okay, that, that doesn't make the kibble itself any better. Look, nutrient-dense, anti-antioxidant-rich, what? All of that is marketing. That's all marketing. Okay, here's one. Wild game. Duck, lamb, wild boar, and rabbit. I'm seeing a lot more wild boar. So let's take a look here. Well, there you go. It's got chicken in it. Chickpeas, peas, lentils, pea protein. I mean, right off the bat. Then we've got the rabbit. Then we've got natural duck flavor. <sighs> Let's take a look at the analysis on this one. So, interesting. So, I guess they're calling it a high protein kibble because it's 30%. How much was it? 36%, I'm sorry. But it's just something to keep in mind. See, if you look at this label, and let's say your dog has a chicken allergy, you're thinking duck, lamb, wild boar, rabbit. Oh, this is perfect. This will work. No, it's got chicken in it. That's why you always, always, always have to read the label. Let's take a look at some other foods here. Okay. So let's take a look at this wellness line. It's saying six main ingredient sources. Interesting. Let's take a look at the ingredients. Peas, chickpeas, pea protein, tomato pumice. I mean, I, I don't see how these ingredients are really any different from their other food. Okay, so let's take a look at this wild kangaroo superfood blend. Yeah? Nice! Kangaroo, chicken, whole field peas, red lentils, sweet potato, whole chickpeas, pea protein. Interesting, so it's kangaroo and chicken. And here's the analysis here. So look at this. They don't even list made with non-animal ingredients. They don't even list the ingredients. How is that okay? Like, am I just missing where the ingredients are? I mean, they're making all these claims. 
You're making all these claims and nowhere on here does it say what's in it.